Good to see you again. You as well, man. I haven't seen you since your uh, Dance with the Stars days. Oh, the dancing days. Yeah, Those are fun. man. Those are fun. You are back at it. Reality TV, this time Celebrity <laughs> Big Brother. How is it going so far? How you handling yourself? I mean, so far it's been pretty easy. Yeah? It's been actually my first day in God knows how many years I haven't had to be on my phone. Emails, taking care of, care of every facet of business, and honestly, pretty stress-free about it. Yeah? yeah? So far, well, you know, the easy parts are, you're in the easy part are right now. you saying it's inevitable that that yeah, changes? Like, yeah, in other are words, you saying you're, there's going to be drama? There's going to the be some drama. There's going to be a little bit of stress, my friend. All right, so let's let's back up a little bit. Were you a fa are you a fan of the show? Do you know the show? How did it come your Yeah, way? so this is actually one of the only shows that I have watched over the years. You know, okay. I haven't watched every episode every time. Not, right, sure. Some of my friends are super fans, and they've filled me in in all the gaps I, I may have not uh, watched. But yeah, I don't watch a whole lot of TV, but this has been one of the more most interesting shows and that's part of the reason when they asked me if I want to do it well yeah how fun would that be yeah no kidding no doubt are you nervous though I mean you're, you're a you're gonna have to get rid of your cell phone like you say but B you're gonna have all these cameras what are you most worried about yeah I mean to be quite frank I'm very uncomfortable in front of cameras and people would be like what do you mean I'm in front of cameras your whole life but uh, acting playing a character I love yeah. that that's yeah. what I train for that's what I study for or if you're filming me on stage I don't even know the cameras there I'm singing like those that's what I do so yes, but that's part of the reason I'm doing this. It's very much going to be a challenge. So I'm nervous because I've never really given that much of my private life away. Right. But I'm also excited because hey, it's just another thing to, to get better at or more used to, I guess. Can't hurt. How competitive are you? Are you, you willing to make alliances, kind of take down other celebrities in the house? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, you are. I mean, you got to yeah, be. Yeah, here's, I mean, you know, initially when they started asking me questions about this, even before I was on camera, they're like, hey, so... Are you gonna do this or that? And I kind of went, that's not my personality, because it isn't. I like to be a problem solver, I'm very pragmatic and realistic, and I hope that there are other people that see things through those that same scope. But at the same time, if somebody is going to push me, I have a really hard time just taking it. So that's when I'll probably take the show a little more seriously, find a little bit more of a, a strategy, and maybe even play into some of the drama that I don't necessarily like, because I'd rather be better at the game than somebody else. Okay, all right, I like that. You're, th you're, th you're thinking strategically already. How careful do you feel like you need to be, like as far as, like you worry about, I mean, when people do this show, they get to go back and just live their lives and really have no, not a whole lot of consequences. You, you continue to be <laughs> under like the, the spotlight in some degree, so. Well, in some degree, but I get to go back home. You know what I mean? Get to yeah. get back in my house and go on runs on the beach and sleep in my bed. I mean, it's gonna be entirely different. Okay. But yeah, to that point, you know, we all say things, you know, I have a very crude sense of humor, for example. And of course, it's going to come out when we're sitting there for, you know, potentially weeks in one house. And I, I wouldn't have guessed that about you, man. Most people wouldn't have. You talk to my friends, they'll laugh because you don't know that. And I'm going to do my best to be respectful of things, but I find sometimes inappropriate things very funny. And if that does come out, I hope people, you know, look into the context of it and don't. I think we're very sensitive yeah. as a generation, especially, and as a culture these days. Especially these days, yeah. And there is definitely validity to some of the sensitivity. But like when it comes to a joke, I hope people have a good sense of humor. That's all I'm going to say. All right. So um, on the show, there's often uh, showmances, as we call them. Uh, what's your uh, dating status? Is that a possibility for you? Well, that's kind of shifted in the past, what, six or eight weeks. And I, I thought I'd be perpetually single in this crazy town of Los okay. Angeles. I have been single the past well, four years. Yeah. And then just started hanging out with a, a wonderful gal. I don't know if I've ever actually used the word gal, but girl felt adolescent. Um, <laughs> we, well, they, you know. You know uh, no, but she, we, we've been hanging out for a little bit now, and I think it's turned into what people call dating. I don't think it's full-blown like girlfriend, boyfriend yet. But I, I, I think I'm gonna do my best to just focus on the show as, as work and stick to strategy. And Did if you, I meet somebody cool, then great, but I think I'm at the point where it'd be a little disrespectful to have a showmance. Yeah, all right. But you yeah. know, I mean, here's the thing is you're living in close quarters and they're generally are often attractive people on the show. I'm so, sure there will be. You know, it might be a, it might be a challenge. But I've been around attractive girls for long before I was all right. famous. All right. And I've done okay. I okay. think that, you know, I you're just know. It. You're confident. I got a pretty good one that I've been hanging out with back at home good and man. I don't think it's worth screwing that up for whatever's on the house. Good man, staying stay focused. I love yeah. All right, so what about uh, food? It can be a little tough, a little slop. You open for all this? How are you gonna roll with yeah. that? <laughs> you know what's funny? I'm sure, I mean, I, I train on a regular basis, but I've, if I could have come into this show being a little stricter on my diet, a little stricter in training, so be it. Having said that, I'm kind of looking forward to keeping everything pretty strict for the next, you know, few weeks or a month. I like that. I like the challenge of like, oh, well, I'm going to cook for myself. I'll meal prep. 
my sweet potato, my chicken, my steak and veggies, mm -hmm. like I hope that's what I'm gonna eat. And if it gets to the point where I gotta do slop for a week or so, why not? I mean, it's not that big of a deal. I eat oatmeal and stuff every morning anyways. I feel like it's gonna be just another version of that. All right, all right. That's They're going to play, play this back. play this back when I'm bitching about it on I the mean, show. <laughs> you know we are, right? Yeah, I mean, you know we are. But of that's course. All right. But listen, you, you, you got to go with this attitude. Right? You know, what I, other you, attitude can you have? I appreciate that, for sure. Um, let me ask you this. Uh, as far as being on camera, as far as, you know, like worrying about what you might say, you talked about being inappropriate. Is there something, you know, is, are, are you gonna be playing a character here? Are you gonna allow yourself to be your, your, your authentic self? I'm gonna do my best, okay. honestly. All right. I think the more I do even interviews, the more, you know, I've done 10 years of this profession yeah. at this point, the more comfortable I get. But as I said, when it's just me on camera and it's not me performing, not me playing a character yeah, yeah, or singing, yeah. it's always been a little weird. I think this show will force a more genuine version of myself but if it's just so ridiculous and it's easier for me to be the goofball, if I feel that the show needs that, if people are being too serious, yeah. it might be a little bit of a character. Okay. Honestly, we'll see. Yeah, you gotta play, you gotta read the room, right? Yeah. All right, we talked about you being on Dancing with the Stars mm -hmm. versus this. What do you think is gonna be more difficult, more stressful? Had I not done that show, I don't think there's any way I would have said yes to this one, quite honestly. Um, but I'm glad that I did. I think that it set me up for success in the show because I've had a taste of it. I've had a taste of cameras around at all times, at yeah. times when you're frustrated, at times when, in my professional life, if I had somebody doing behind the scenes at a concert and I'm pissed off, I generally go, yo, take it outside. Because I don't, you know, who wants that out there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's different in this world. You need to be honest and authentic at every point and nobody's constantly happy. Nobody's constantly energetic. And so, I don't know, like I said, in a weird way, I think that would be a valuable skill set to have to get more comfortable with it, especially the way the world's going and the way this industry is. You know, non-scripted is a big part of the world. It's yeah. something I'm actually open to doing maybe even after the show. All right. So if that's a lesson learned after this to be more comfortable, that's kind of awesome. It's a huge win. Okay, cool. And on that note, uh, oftentimes when people do these uh, reality shows, they get more opportunities out there. What are you, ho how are you hoping this affects your, uh, your career and your exposure and, and future opportunities? Absolutely. Um, you know, the most obvious, I just released a single called Falling. I'm excited. If I get a few more people to listen to that song and then yep, my previous yep. album, that's great. Got a movie called Bachelor Lions going to theaters here in the near future. If more people watch that, that's fantastic. But yep. to, you know, your point previous about like Dancing with the Stars, how was that experience? Mm -hmm. After that, I was offered so many hosting things, for example. So many things that I just went, you know, no, nah, it's not really what I want to do. I just want to keep acting and just singing, keep more traditional. In just a few years, I think the industry has changed and my mindset has changed. So after this, if there's an opportunity to host a reality show, for example, or something along the lines that is a little unconventional, I might jump at that now, whereas I probably wouldn't have a few years ago. Yeah, all right. Because I don't think people judge it the same way they used to. No, they don't. They're more accepting of people being a little, having their foot in a few different... You have different Jamie Foxx hosting. You have Mark Wahlberg yeah, doing a reality yeah, show. You know exactly. what I mean? It doesn't, in no way, is any detriment to what they really do with acting and, mm -hmm. and performing. So yeah. I think the world is changing, and I'm excited about it. All right. Some uh, photos uh, were released uh, of the house. We got to see that you each get your own bed. Yes. <laughs> That must have been uh, something you were happy about. That was quite a relief. <laughs> yeah, uh, you got an espresso machine. Did you catch that? I'm excited about that. You know what I'm saying? You know, that's 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 a game changer right that's there. A Caffeine game changer these days. Caffeine is an attitude it, changer. Yo, how's the house look? You know, from your first glances. Yeah, it looks gorgeous. You know what I mean? I mean, <laughs> look, there will be stressful moments, no doubt. Mm -hmm. But big picture, like if anybody's going into this in any other way than thinking like this is kind of like a vacation then they're ridiculous. Like we got all the food we need provided, we got a great house, could interact with other people, hopefully in some capacity in my industry, make new friends. I mean, that's really, it, it is honestly how I'm going into it. I know people right. are smiling, laughing at home, no, like, oh, no, it's no, gonna no, change. No, no. Yeah, yeah, no, I love but it. so I, be it, so I be I it. I wanna replay this, you say this sort of like a vacation. <laughs>